Is this the COVID-19 that everyone's been talking about? It's the Self-Isolation Station. Welcome back to the Self-Isolation Station. I am Darren Brown, at Darren Fun Brown on the Twitter. Hope you've all been doing well in quarantine and self-isolation. I know I have, other than my smoothies have been getting a little browner, uh, but that's really not a big deal. It's been a little while since I've done an episode for you, and I just wanted to give you a quick update that on the podcast, Sound of Hockey, which I do with John Barr and Andy Eide right here in Seattle, we've had some great guests recently, like Annie Pankowski, who's an American hero, and this week we actually interviewed a quote-unquote special guest, and if you haven't listened to it yet, I'm going to spoil it for you which is that our special guest was actually just John Barr, who is one of the three hosts of the show. Uh, But really, we had him on as a guest, quote unquote, because he's a guy that has put his life into bringing hockey to Seattle, essentially. Uh, He's just a regular guy that was able to organize people. And so he never really told his story on the podcast. And so it's a, a really interesting story. So give it a listen. I think you'll like it. We also talked on this week's podcast about the Kirill Kaprizov situation, which we talked about here on Self-Isolation Station last time we did an episode. Well, there's been a development, and it's not a great one for you Minnesota Wild fans out there. Yes, I'm wearing my Minnesota Wild jersey. I'll get to that in a minute. The development is that although Minnesota should be able to sign him in theory, it's unlikely now that the NHL is going to let him slide directly into the lineup should they actually resume their season. I personally think this is complete bullshit because they've let other Russian players at the end of their season in the past slide in and play for a new NHL team. And now because of this whole pandemic thing, it feels like they're just making up the rules as they go. Great opportunity for Minnesota to theoretically get some star power into their lineup and have something fun for fans to watch. But instead, nope, NHL takes the we don't like to market our players approach. So there's that, it's bullshit. And that brings me to my tip for being legit. I mentioned I was wearing my Minnesota Wild jersey. Well, underneath my Minnesota Wild jersey, you may notice that I'm wearing this very stylish mock turtleneck. My tip for being legit is, if you want to be a legit hockey fan, you can wear something like this, an old-timey Bauer or maybe CCM hockey underwear that maybe you've even had handed down to you from someone who's older, like maybe a brother or sister, as is the case with mine. But if you wear something like this, people know that you're absolutely a legit hockey person. Also on this topic, and I'm giving you these tips because it seems like it's a good time to start reviewing how to be a proper fan. If you look at this baseball jersey, right? This is a twins jersey. Notice the stains here, right? So that this is mustard. Over here we have some ketchup, okay? Uh, So the tip is, aside from wearing hockey underwear underneath your hockey jersey, let the stains live. Never wash your jersey because it's a great memory of sporting events past and you'll appreciate looking down and saying, ah yes, that time that I spilled the hot dog right down the front of my shirt, that was a great day. To close out this week's self-isolation station, I wanted to do one more round of a video. Goalie gear corner! (laughs) On this week's podcast, we discussed this mask from Jacob Markstrom, which he's apparently back skating in Sweden, uh, because apparently that's allowed in Sweden at this point. I don't know, sounds very Florida of them. I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. I personally am not a huge fan of masks like this that are just essentially like a team motif. The reason is because I feel like the goalie mask is a good opportunity to do something very personal and to really express yourself and be creative. And when you just go with the team motif, it just, I don't know, I mean, it's it's like a dime a dozen. Anybody can do that. Any mask painter can make a decent team motif and any goalie can come up with this kind of a scheme. So it just, it doesn't really do it for me. I think it's sharp and it's clean, but if you're a goalie out there thinking about painting your mask, just the colors of your team and with your team logo and name, think again, because there's a lot more that you can do with that mask. It is a blank canvas. This wraps up self isolation station thank you all so much for joining please do subscribe because then you'll find out when the next episode comes out and uh, i guess i don't know it's helpful to me or something Uh, and you can also like below and put a comment and all that stuff but thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you all soon